Good morning, beautiful people. Right, we got another race weekend. This time it is Peter to Pier, which we did last year as well. A um, little bit muggier, but today it is absolutely beautiful down here. Before we do anything, I'm just going to switch the camera around just so we can see our finish line today, which is if I zoom in, that is our finish today. So yeah, we did it, like I said, we did it last year. Um, I'll put a link to last year's video down in the description for this. It is run by Sunland Strollers. It is a, well, it's just in the seven mile. It is about 6.97 mile. From, you start on the sand at South Shields Pier and you finish over here at Rope Pier. It is, the only rules is you are not allowed on the public footpath. You have to start on the, you start on the, on the sand come up off the beach, you kind of run along the cliff tops and then back down at the promenade along here and then back onto the sand and you finish over there on the sand. You, the only bit you are allowed on the public footpath is on the back of Latimer's Fish Key because there is literally no other option but to jump on there but there is marshals all over the place there just making sure that you don't get on. Uh, we're at the finish, there is, again if I just switch the camera around Coach is ready to take us to the start line. It is two pound for the coach, or you obviously can make your own way there. But yeah, coach just get us there. Low, there's absolutely, I have, well, pretty sure there's over a thousand people doing this race. Oh, there's the bus is starting up there. Uh, yeah, we get the way down the start line, run all the way across here, pick up your goodie bags, and then we end the day. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to see what's happening down the finish line, see what's going on at the minute and then we'll make our way across to the start and see some of the other guys who were. Uh, there's a few of our guys we're meeting at the bungalow calf earlier on but what a surprise! I'm it! But it is what it is. Um, yeah, a few other guys down there so I'm going to see if I can catch up with them before they jump on the coach. But yeah, let's go down and let's see what's happening. Half the time I was spent down here was actually trying to park my car. Um, I have parked it as close as I can. I hope it's, hope it's alright where it is. I uh, guess we'll find out when we get back. But yeah, down the steps, down the finish line. What I do like, but there's obviously this race is completely dependent on the tides because obviously it starts on the sand and finishes on the sand. But a couple of years ago, we actually finished on dry sand. And if there's, I, I, there's not many things worse than if you, after you've done a seven mile run starting on sand across the cliff tops which some of it is a little bit suspect as well the terrain um and then you get across and then you finish on dry sand because it just absolutely saps the energy out of your legs if you've got any left but thankfully it looks like yeah we're finishing on wet sand again so happy about that like definitely still got about an hour and a quarter before the race starts because it starts at 10 o'clock well officially starts at 10 o'clock i think last year it started about 10 last year by the time Everybody got down there, but as you can see behind me, the race marshal's getting a bit of a briefing. Most important thing all that I've seen down there is all the water, because it looks like it is going to be a little bit warm by the end of today's race. Table where we're going to get all of our goodies from, and I've just spotted already, and I'll show you properly again at the end. But once again, without fail, we've got the got the lighthouse made out of glass again, just with this year on it as well. Uh, we get them every year and it is like it is one of the one of the kind of tradition of getting in your in your goodie bag that you get one of those like but yeah there's plenty of tables up here already ready to put t-shirts on don't know what's in them boxes i'm pretty sure we'll find out oh i think we yeah we'll find out in a bit but yeah all the bags all ready to go my size t-shirt because i'm only a little lad oh it looks like we get kind of backpack things this year oh that's really interesting so yeah. Oh, add on. Add on, I'm coming back round. I saw Scott because yeah, I think last year it was uh it was a cat was a bigger that you got. I show I'll show everything properly later on, but we're just gonna spin round. Oh the bee glass even got the lighthouse on it as well. Absolutely spot on that. And I've just been informed that apparently we do get the can of beer again, which is not good for me because I don't drink, but it just means at least this year we actually get a glass that we can pour our, our beer in as well and have a cheese at the end. So this just gets better every year. So I'm going to head across to, oh, I was going to say I'm going to head across to the bus, but the bus is just behind me. So I'm going to jump on the bus, get across to the start line, and we'll do a little bit more 
content while we're over there. <laughs> just having a laugh there while the marshals have just been checking just to make sure that everybody that's running today is over the age of 18 because obviously every bike has got a can of lager in it so <laughs> that would have been quite fun but yes everybody running this race is over the age of 18. <laughs> right off the bus kind of made it to the start line but last year when we came down we got down the roundabout and they actually came down and dropped us off in the car park which we're about which we're all walking to now um but this year they dropped us off a little bit further back kind of they've come around the roundabout and back at the bus stop which kind of makes sense because the car park does get quite full and trying to get double decker buses out of there will be a bit of a bit of a challenge so yeah around the roundabout and it makes it easy for the bus driver as well just to go straight back to pick the other guys up but yeah walking down the start line well walking down to the kind of mini race village type of thing at the beginning before we get on the beach at the start line so we'll catch us down there and we'll see if we can, oh i've got a couple of striders over here when then um, we're gonna see see you all down there and meet the rest of the guys just moving into the car park there's a couple of private coaches that People are getting down from their own running groups as well, as you can see. And um, people off. Red Sky Foundation again. Red Sky Foundation, massive, massive worthy car. So if you can donate anything to that, that would be absolutely awesome. But yeah, just chilling around in the car park at the minute, see if I can see any more of the other guys. Um, which I can't at the moment, but I'm sure we'll catch up with them. Um, we'll just have a little bit of a sit down and we'll talk about this predictions. What a surprise once again using a bin to actually stand my tripod on so i can talk to you guys uh right today's predictions and um, first of all finish will be a good start um hopefully finish without collapsing like i did on the sunland half marathon that will be another one uh last year i did one hour seven i'm hoping to deal with again with the very severe lack of training that i've done to get around about uh 150 between about 110 115 i'll be happy on that one um but just like last week we'll start the start we'll finish at the finish what goes on in between times goes on in between times uh i did try to i tried to get a gopro well i've got my gopro and i tried to put it on try and do a little bit of video on during the race as well um unfortunately it didn't that didn't go quite to plan because my running style i literally ended up with my hands in the go in the camera most of the time and i suffer with breathing problems to start with and the, the chest haunts with the restriction on uh wasn't the best so yeah i was going to try and get a little bit of training i was trying to get a bit gopro footage for you but unfortunately it just it just wouldn't happen so yeah we're going to get the before the race like we did last time and we're going to get the end of the race uh with the goodie bags and stuff like that and then we'll we'll see what we've got so i'm going to see if i can find the rest of my guys i'm going to put the bag in the mini bus to get up at the end so i can get my get my stuff back out and then we'll go from there so we'll see you in a bit there you go bag is in one thing i did forget to mention today is i'm not actually running as me today i am running as stefan or steven or stepen or somebody just said to me there because i actually missed the cut off for getting it was full by the time i got back on holiday but thankfully harry the race organizer somebody who he knows was couldn't get in because he was up in scotland so harry put me in touch and said oh, there's a number there if you want it so give the guy his money i got his number and then we're away yeah i was on my way uh, so yeah gonna go over and meet the rest of the guys but yeah today running as stefan and then just a short walk from the car park which is that way we turn around this way and we'll meet the rest of the guys who are already over there and then Get the start, which is it's still another half an hour before the race actually starts. But I think I was saying earlier on last year it was meant to start at 10. I didn't think it started, it started about 10 past quarter past by the time everybody got down there. So, let's see what time it starts today. The only problem is you've got to walk across dry sand, which saps a bit of your energy before you actually get the start line. But yeah, we'll get there. Oh, yeah, what a surprise! Queue for the toilet is the longest queue found a few more of the guys here but um lorna says that she's not going to carry me around today so if i do fall over there i'm knackered and claire said the same thing so basically i'm by myself today so if i fall talk about me thanks for guys and this bit's starting to empty a little bit now because short walk over the sand to the start line. Uh, 
And there's the start line over there. The only thing about walking the start line over the dry sand is I've got so much sand in my shoes at this moment in time when I get off the beach. At the start of the morning, I'm probably going to have to take my trainers off, get rid of all the sand in them, put them back on again, otherwise I'm going to have sand running through my toes all the way through. But, who cares? Quite a few runners this morning. And as you can see, the weather is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful in the fact the sun's out. It is, however, a little bit warm. So I can imagine it's been a... Uh, It'll be a godsend when we get that water station like in about halfway through and then the water at the end. But yeah, I'm going to go and join all the guys in there, find my running mates and then we're going to go and have some fun in the race. I have completely lost all of the guys. I haven't got a clue where they are and I'm starting to get down to really, really wet sand here now. So, oh, I found a couple on there. I think I'm going to get through here somewhere. But yeah, it is very, very cold down here now. Just heading further towards the back. So, because I know we I know we aren't going to be anywhere near fast enough to get up on foot. I'm actually standing just behind this man running there, so we're getting here for one last time. And the camera's going to go up way. Stand behind this bunch of rubber bits, and then the camera's away. We're going to, I'm well, first I'm going to do is get in my shoes. So get rid of the sand in my shoes. Get with the guys and then we are I'll probably see you probably the next clip you see of me is gonna be a little bit warmer, a little bit wear, and certainly a lot more tired, so we'll see you at the end. Oh guys that was hard. Oh. I'm now just in the queue, waiting to get up and get the goodie bag. And the water boots off. Got through the goodie bag, sat down, got my breath back, we'll have a chat. Until then, I need a drink. Right, finished. Got my bag, got my breath back more at the point. Oh, that was warm today, very warm. Um, I said I wanted to get between 110 and 115. And I haven't checked my time yet, but I finished, I think I finished on about one hour 13 and a bit, one hour 13 and a half, so I got in the time that I wanted to, so I'll have that. Um, I want to find a bit of a better spot. I want to open the bag and see what we got. Oh, there we go, found, found us a spot. If, actually, if I flick the camera around, we're actually just at the finish line. Better guys all we in there. Pick up their goodie bag. So, talking about goodie bag, let's have a look what we got. So, firstly, we got it's actually a rather big backpack today. So, firstly, Peter P.S. South Shears Roker PJS Law. Um, unfortunately, this time my t shirt is a medium. I'm a size small, but Stephen or bottle number off is a medium. The um, I can at the finish when everybody's done. If I go back, if they've got any smalls left, I can swap it for a small. But it is what it is. I don't wear them anyway. I'll just go in the. I'll just go in my wardrobe with my t-shirts. But yeah, got a medium today. Um, I'm sorry, on. We've got the loose lace lager from Vox. The the Peter P run on the back of there. This year, we've actually got the glass to go with that, and you see, but it's actually got the, the lighthouse on it as well. That's quite cool. Sorry, I keep ducking away the camera, but the bag is all the way down here. we got crisp, Mars bar, energy gel, and if my memory serves me, if my memory serves me correctly, yeah, we also got our glass lighthouse again. So, once again, nice full goodie bag. I can see a few of the guys coming in now. So I'm gonna go back down, get another drink of water. That's for sure. I'm gonna enjoy the sunshine for a bit. And then it's time to go home. 
but yeah it was 6.9 mile again it's not the same as last time one of the cliff tops was a little bit a little bit harsh because there's not that much space on some of the bits that get a bit narrow there is a pinch point as you're coming up off the sand as you can't you can't run you've got to walk up there because it is a massive pinch point and there's another pinch point after about a mile and a half but after that it's just it's, it's class like so i'll actually the rest of the guys and over there so yeah i'm gonna call it for now i'm gonna find the rest of the guys over there and we'll see you in a bit So I went back and bought some TV before. Yeah, I'm the guy from there coming there. Michael Lee, Paul, Derek. But he's left to be for him, we'll bring it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what's my hair doing? There you go. Another race day over. Peter to Pia once again. Very good, very good race. I would encourage anybody to do it. Just under seven mile. Start on the beach, finish on the beach. All kinds of terrain in between times. Um, very, very warm today, very warm. So make sure if it is a warm day, you want, uh, you do get hydrated because especially when we run along the wind, it was kind of in our face where what wind there was was in our face. So it cooled you down a little bit, which was really, really good. But yeah, very, very warm, very warm. So thanks so much, guys. If you are new to the channel, please remember to like, subscribe and share. Because Deb's not here again, so I've got to do that. Yeah, please remember to like, subscribe and share. And until the next vlog, whatever that may be, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.